Chelsea meeting of the Commission with line editors. This is another bold step to update you on the Commission's preparedness, innovation, and ongoing electoral activities as a prelude to the forthcoming 2023 general election. The election is recognized as the best rock of democracy all over the world, as it has the people the opportunity to choose those who govern them. However, the need for effective citizen participation in the electoral process with a view to making informed choices underscores the importance of the media in any democracy because the media harbors all relevant communication apparatus for the dissemination of vital information across the length and breadth of the globe. Suffice so to say that without the media, access to information which is very essential to the health of democracy would have been negatively impacted, thereby making it difficult for citizens to make responsive and informed choices. As the 2023 general election is around the corner, that is 84 days away to be precise, the need for an interactive meeting with the media such as this cannot be emphasized. There is no case in the fact that there is a very strong relationship between media performance and conduct of vibrancy of politics and political activities in a democracy. As politics serves as a root and means of uplifting the society through good governance, protection and advancement of citizens' rights, and creation of an enabling environment for democracy to thrive, the media on their part operate within the prevailing environment to engage the public sphere thereby expanding the frontier of freedom, which enables the citizens to have access to quality information that will influence their judgments and decisions for sustainable democracy. It is pertinent to know that the media has continued to play a very important role in the sustainability of democracy in Nigeria. In fact, the media was at the forefront of the struggle for the return of democracy in 1999 after many years of military and direct crime. The media also at different points lent his voices to calls for electoral reforms with a view to deliver the country's democracy and his role towards rallying relevant stakeholders that eventually led to the enactment of the Electoral Act 2022 is very commendable. Distinguished members of the fourth estate, permit me to use this opportunity to urge you to always allow your judgment as you inform the electorate to be guided by the code of conduct for media practitioners and other relevant sections of the instant laws. Media must be professional, accurate, impartial, and avoid fake or sensational news. Permit me at this juncture to express our profound appreciation to our development partner and sponsor of this important event, Development Alternatives Incorporated Day and DAI, for your regular support of the Commission and cooperation towards giving the nation's democracy. Once again, I welcome you all to this impressive event where we wishing you a very successful delivery. Thank you very much.